afternoon baseball here on the show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Houston Astros and the Oakland A's. The Strohs look to complete the sweep and maintain their pace atop the division standings next. Jesus Lazardo, a left-handed Floridian, will get the starting assignment. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, you take a look at that ERA. That's a little bloated right now. This guy's a better pitcher than that, but he hasn't been real consistent. One good game, one bad game. I think what he needs to do, if he can string together three or four good quality games in a row, that ERA will start creeping back down. He definitely needs to start pitching a lot better than he has up to this point. And it'll be interesting to see if he can turn it around in this one. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. And Dan Dero, these A's as they begin play here this afternoon, they continue to fall on hard times, losing again last time out, and that makes seven losses in their last eight games. Yeah, Matty, this team has taken it on the chin the first two games of this series, getting blown out in each game. They need a better effort in this one. No doubt about it. I think things haven't gone their way, and this is the time to turn things around now, Dero. It's been an ugly series up to this point, and they need to turn it around pronto today. Now here's a look at the Astros' starting lineup. Danny, any thoughts? Well, you really have to appreciate what Jose Altuve brings to this team. I mean, this guy is a career 300 hitter. You talk about consistent. He delivers a good at bat and clutch hits basically every time he walks into the box. I love watching this guy. To the plate now, Alex Bregman. Our temperature at first pitch and even 70 degrees here this afternoon. Here he comes again, 1 2. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. Into the box, Jose Altuve. Hit hard down the line. Rolanda Olsen will take care of him at first, and that ends the inning. Nothing doing here in the opening half inning. And now the A's offense gets its first shot here. No score. Justin Verlander gets the ball in game three of the series. Dan, any thoughts? Yeah, Matt. Since he's put on a Houston Astros uniform, Justin Verlander's kind of turned his career around. Went through a couple of seasons where his velocity was down, but he's always had that good curveball changeup combination. Velo back up to the mid to upper 90s to go along with that fastball and the curveball, and Justin Verlander is all the way back. And that'll bring in Ramon Laureano. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's a non-competitive off-speed pitch. Got to do better to at least entice a swing. Here's a swing and a long drive high in the air and deep to center field. And that is off the wall. And he will get there as the A's have themselves a leadoff double. This thing stays in the park, but let me tell you something. He absolutely crushed this thing. This park is no band box. It takes a lot to get one out of here, and he almost does it. It carried a long time and hit it halfway up the wall for a long double. At the plate, Tony Kemp. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Fellas, taking a look at these Astros entering play here this afternoon. They come in riding a five-game winning streak, and they've really got things clicking. Yeah, Matty, this team's coming together right now. They're playing dangerous baseball. You can tell the look in their eye. They feel good about where they're at. They've won a few games in a row, and they look to continue that trend today. Now a slider here, but this will miss off the plate away, and it's ball four. That is good. Next up for the A's, Marcus Semien. And he's seen his numbers on the rise here over the last five games or so. He 
Loriano at second. Kemp at first with no outs. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. We all know he's a really good hitter, and this is probably a good example why. He fell behind 0-2, but knowing they're probably going to try to get him to chase a pitcher's pitch, he got really patient. He's still up against the ropes a little, but he's in a much better position now on a 2-2 count. So he chased out of the strike zone on that one. Marcus Semien is retired for the first out here in the bottom half of the first. The 2 1 home he misses off the plate. Not a good spot to be in right now. Pitchers fall behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. So let's take a look at our umpiring crew in this one. Working the plate, Rusty Valentine. Dan, Rusty Valentine behind the dish tonight. He is north south without question. Letters to knees. Well, I tell you what, he really favors a power pitcher. If you can consistently pitch at about the chest level and above, he'll call that high strike zone. I think he's a very friendly pitcher's umpire. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. My man on the mound has just got great strikeout stuff working for him these days. Looking back at his last start, he racked up nine Ks, and now he's looking like he can put up similar numbers in this one. So now to the plate, Mark Canna grounded to short, scooped up, and the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. A's strand a couple, and this is still a nothing-nothing ball game. So here's the Astros cleanup hitter, Jordan Alvarez. He's two for seven in the series so far. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Two and two. Well, today's game provides the Astros with a chance to complete a series sweep, guys. And you can see why this team is in first place in the division. A solid ball club with good hitting and good pitching. And it's always key when you're playing interdivision squads. And one thing that would certainly help their cause in going for the sweep is if they can break out the big bats like they did yesterday. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. And he's going to have room to put this one away, and that's the first out. That's it. The shortstop, Carlos Correa. So next to swing the bat will be Carlos Correa. He's two for ten in the series coming into today. No score here as we play inning number two. And here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. To two balls and two strikes now. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate. And, and a reach but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. And he'll pull into second with one away. He just smoked this ball right down the line. Take a look here. Hard to tell if it was fair or foul in real time, but you can see it flies right over the bag. Ump was all over it and made a great call. Here's George Springer, and he's the right man for the job with runners in scoring position as he ranks fifth in the AL in RBIs entering play. Well, this is a small sample size because the season is still so young. But I don't have any doubt he's going to be near the top of a bunch of the leaderboards when this season is all said and done. Here's a topper fouled off to the right, and that'll even the count at two and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Due next is Josh Reddick as he gets ready in the on deck circle. One out and a runner on second base. 
He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. It's never a good look to strike out looking, but it's way worse when you do it with a guy in scoring position. Those are the times you really want to see a guy battle and at least put the ball in play. At the plate now, Josh Reddick. 2-1 pitches, a fastball swung on and missed 2-2. Two and two. two out here and a runner at second. Curveball, and he buckled him, but it's full 3-2. and two. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on 3-2 and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. You still need to make a quality pitch. The payoff pitch. Tries to go the other way as this is in the air to left field. Davis will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Astros leave one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. So that brings up the always intense Matt Chapman. He drove in the other of their two runs last night. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Back up the middle. There is Altuve. And that's out number one. Batting seven. No left fielder. David. Striding in for Oakland, Chris Davis. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right handed pitching this season. Three and two now. Hey, boys, you talking about getting your A swing off right here? That's what it looks like. A guy with massive power letting it eat. The three two pitch. Full count still. Bottom of the second here with no score. Left side of the infield into the shift. Throw on to first, and Verlander's got it going here. Two away. Outfielder Steven Piscotti the next to hit. He's hitting 333 in the series, two for six. Verlander sets his sights. Here's the three and two. Hit the other way out toward right field. Reddick has a read on it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. A's are gone in order. We'll move to the third with no score. Cuban import Yuli Gurriel and he enters play today currently fifth in the American League in hitting there's a lot of ways to get on base base hit a walk hit by pitch this guy's in the top five on base percentage he does a little bit of all of those things Gurriel behind a ball and two strikes He can't get off a good swing there as this is on the ground to first base. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. One out now in the Houston third, and up next, the former Angel Martin Maldonado. Third inning, no score to this point. And a curveball here. Good pitch, but a better take, and it's to two and one now. And this one misses as well, and that pushes it to three and one. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind him. Popped up. Olsen in foul ground. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Next up for the Strohs, Michael Brantley. He flew out in his last at bat. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hit high and deep to straightaway right field. Piscotti's going back. On the warning track, he makes the catch. One, two, three, go the Astros. 
Home half of the third coming up. No score. The Athletics due to hit here in the third. They're looking to get some momentum going with the bats. This is a group that has had trouble doing so all season long. One coach told me before the game, there are certainly plenty of areas for us to improve offensively, but first and foremost, we need to start by putting the ball in play more often. There's too much swing and miss in our game. And the stats do back that up, as they currently rank near the bottom of the league in strikeouts. So that appears to be an area of emphasis going forward, guys. All right, Heidi, thank you. Stepping up to the plate, Austin Allen. One one home. Misses ball two. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. The two two. Fouled away. The two two. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Reddick has a read on it. Makes the play one away. The bat, number 24. One gone for the A's here in the third. And up next will be Ramon Laureano. Into the windup. Ready with the payoff pitch. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. Well, he gives up the walk, but that was a really good pitch. Might have been just out of the zone, but not by much. A lot of guys would have gone fishing for that pitch, so sometimes the hitter just outlasts you. Digging in for his second at-bat, Tony Kemp. He's hitless in the first two games of the series, 0 for 8. Swung on and missed for strike number two. He is in complete command out on the mound today. He's got all four corners locked in, and now he's raising eye levels to boot. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. But he will haul this in on the run as he had to go back to the warning track to do it, and there are two away. So we're striding forward now. Marcus Semien. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Now a hard liner. But foul. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. This is exactly the reason why this guy has been so successful and has played this game so long, scrambling pitch after pitch, making this guy work out on the mound. Here's a look over to first and a dive, but he's back. He's going, he's going. Runners off for second. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. One left for Oakland. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. Now in the box, Alex Bregman, as we begin the top of the fourth. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get them in, but that hasn't been the case. Now a swing by Bregman and a ball hit well to deep left. Now this will rattle up against the wall. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. 
Wow, not sure what the pitcher was thinking. Serving up a fastball right over the heart of the plate. His eyes got as big as saucers as he blasts this thing, putting himself in the scoring position to start off the inning. Standing in now, Jose Altuve. Two balls and a strike to Jose Altuve. No one out with a runner at second. Ball even at two and two. Outside and a full count three and two. Still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning. Dan, does this continue or does somebody score here? I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command of their off-speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low-scoring affairs. He throws him on the fastball there. Jose Altuve becomes the first out of the inning. Next will be the designated hitter, Jordan Alvarez. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. And that's in there on the hands, 3 and 2 now. Fell behind early in this one 3-0 and is battled back with two quality strikes. Interested to see if he catches a big part of the plate right here or tries to get a nibble. Hit in the air out to straightaway left. After it is Davis. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. There's Carlos Correa now. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. Correa. Three and one, here it is. And that misses, ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. The center field is number four. George. George Springer the next to hit. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. The one one. High fly ball out to straightaway center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Two left for the Astros. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. And that'll bring up Matt Olson. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but it's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. Let's see what they throw Olsen on a three and one count. This is where you cash your checks right here. Three, one. You're one of the best hitters in the game. You live for situations like this. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Popped him up. Bregman is there. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now the A's designated hitter, Mark Canna. The 1-1. One, one. Strike two swinging. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, Canna brings a batting average just a little over the 250 mark. Fouled off. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch, and it's fouled away. Locked in a good battle. Here comes another one. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. That strikeout was a real good example of a pitcher continuing to the make a guy pitch. chase out of the zone. When you recognize a hitter is in protect mode, you don't have to come inside the strike zone. You can just expand further and further until he literally can't touch it. 
stepping in now. Matt Chapman. And he fouls this one off. Payoff pitch one more time. Chapman swings, and this one's hit very well out to left. Brantley going back, and that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. A solo shot here to left, number 22 on the year, and the A's are on the board first, one to nothing. Boy, this guy's hot right now. Hit a bomb yesterday and hit another tape measure shot today. When he gets hot, he hits him in bunches. This could be the beginning of one of those extended hot streaks. In now, Chris Davis. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Two balls and two strikes. The count to Chris Davis. Shoots this one over to first. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. Boy, Dero, the game of baseball has changed. There's so much velocity in the game. That was a 96-mile-hour fastball that he smoked the other way. Yeah, you have to keep your front shoulder tucked right there. You have to honor. When a guy's throwing that hard, 96 miles an hour, you have to honor that fastball and try and work it the other way to keep you on the off-speed. And a fastball that misses up in the zone here. It's 2-1. and one. It's two balls and two strikes now. Very rarely does a pitcher like this leave one in a location like that. That's a pitch right there he'd like to have back. He'd love to swing at that one again. Here now the 2 2. He swung on and missed strike three. But the A's hit the board first on this solo home run. We played four. It's now one nothing in favor of the A's. Back at the Oakland Coliseum, and before we go much further, let's check in with Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. During the commercial break, I discussed the Astros' offense with Houston's manager, and one thing he stressed to me was the need for them to have better at-bats when they've got runners on base. They've had their opportunities with runners in scoring position, but still have zero hits to show for it in those situations. He said repeatedly not coming through with a big hit can wear on you as a team, but in this sport, you have to dwell on the positives. He's confident they'll find a way to break through sooner or later. All right, Heidi, thank you. Like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Two and two. Here now the two two. Great AB up until this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. Now the payoff pitch home. Fouled away. The next three, two. Fouled off. Neither guy given in. Here's the next one. Liner towards second. Well, this will be taken in at second base. Good positioning for the first down. Standing in, Yuli Gurriel. The 2 1 home. Doesn't hit the target, it's ball three. We all know this guy is a great hitter in a 3 1 count. This is just what he's looking for. He loves to hit when the count's in his favor like this. In the air, out to right. Piscotti's on the move. 
He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Now batting. Standing in, Martin Maldonado. His last at bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. The 1 1 home is taken for strike two. I know it's cliche and it's tired at times, but a well located fastball down at the knees is still the best pitch in the game. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. Astros go down one, two, three. They still trail one nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And next to hit is the catcher, Austin Allen. One one. The bouncer to the left side. And the throw on to first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. Number 22. So the Oakland lineup turns over and to the plate, Ramon Laureano. It was a walk in his last trip. Now a foul tip that's held on to with the plate, and the count moves to one and two now. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. One run on three hits and no errors in the ballgame for the A's so far. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. So bases are empty here with two gone and striding toward the plate to hit next Tony Kemp. And he struck him out his seventh of the ball game and that ends the inning one two three go the A's but they lead it one to nothing. And here's the left handed hitting Michael Brantley he's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Loriano is there and he has it for the first half. And that'll bring up Alex Bregman. One for two with a double on his line thus far. Bases are empty, one man out. Not definitely a fastball swing there, but a good time for the changeup. It's full three and two. And he lost him here on three two as that pitch misses. It's ball four. Well, the reason power hitters generally draw more walks than other guys is exactly what we saw right there. Pitchers work around them and nibble the corners a lot more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. So a runner at first now with one away and striding in the speedy second baseman Jose Altuve. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Gone! So a two run shot to left center 32 now for the season and the Astros take the lead it's two to one. Hey that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy power hitter and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno number one man you got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else and he did just that to the plate now Jordan Alvarez in front of the changeup and he can't keep it fair two strikes on him now down the left field line and deep and this will wind up a foul ball into the windup ready with the payoff pitch high in the air out to center field Loriano is there now and he has it two gone 
Into the box now, Carlos Correa. It was a walk in his last trip. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Long run for the center fielder. Long run. Buddy gets there to track this one down and a very nicely recorded out number three. Astros play two on the two run home run. Through five and a half, two to one Houston. Bottom of the sixth inning on its way, but first, here's Heidi Watney. Well, Matt, I talked to manager Bob Melvin during the break about his thoughts on the A's hitters to this point. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He said it seems like every at-bat has gone deep into the count, which has resulted in a really high pitch count for their opponent. We checked the numbers. So far, they've worked a total of six full counts. Guys? Okay, thank you, Heidi. Stepping in, Marcus Semien. He'll be the one to greet Justin Verlander to start the inning. 3-2 pitch. Pitches away, but it's swung on and grounded to second. And that's through for his first base hit in this one. Ready now, Matt Olson. He struck out and flied out 0 for 2 so far. Low scoring game thus far, 2 to 1 here in the sixth. Pulled toward right center field. Springer comes on now and he has it one down. So a runner at first now with one away and striding into bat next it will be Mark Canna. On the ground is short. This could be two. Altuve for one. On to first, it's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. So no runs on one base hit, no errors, and no one left on. We're through six full. It's the Astros two and the A's one. J.B. Wendelkin is on out of the bullpen now as he gets to work in his 60th game of the season. J.B. Wendelkin. Seventh inning ready to roll and standing in the outfielder, George Springer. Ground ball sent back up the middle, right to him. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. So here's Josh Reddick. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. One and two now as that one's fouled off. to sit back on the changeup and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Reddick waiting and now the pitch. And a swing and a miss here so it's a quick two outs to start the seventh. The first baseman, so ten. stepping in, Yuli Gurriel. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. 2 to 1 our score. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. The 2-2. Two -two. 
lifted in the air out to center field. Long run for the center fielder. He's got it. A great running play, and that'll retire the side. One, two, three, go the Astros. They still lead it two to one. And that'll bring in Matt Chapman. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. The last at bat, Matty V. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Matt Chapman is retired for the first out in the bottom half of the seventh inning. Into the box now, Chris Davis. High and wide, two balls and a strike. You know, what I'm seeing here is a reluctance to throw the fastball. It's like he feels he can't throw the ball right by him right now. And it's fouled away. The 2-2. Two -two. And another foul ball. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. He's got good swing and miss stuff in this game. That's back-to-back -back Ks, and that was his ninth of the game. If you're striking out one or more in an inning, you're throwing the ball pretty well. Plate now, Stephen Piscotti. And he fouls this one off. And now a pitch on the way. I think when a team starts struggling, certainly offensively, it's just guys try and play above their pay grade. Know who the best players are in the lineup and try and get on base to set them up. Now the payoff pitch home. Center, base hit. I'm sure the boys on the bench appreciate that A.B. right there. Grinded out an eight pitch at bat and was able to be successful and deliver a hit for the team. Now here comes the Houston manager out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And it would appear that that's going to be the end of the afternoon for Justin Verlander. So he'll depart with the lead and a chance to be the winner, but he is responsible for the tying run at first. Your attention, please. Now so with a left-handed hitter waiting, they'll go to their own left-hander out of the bullpen. Austin Allen popped him up. Maldonado waits on it, and that retires the side. The A's strand one. Our score remains two to one. set for the start of the inning and up next the former Angel Martin Maldonado the one two is outside for a ball fouled away Two and two count. Here it comes. Just off the outside that time. Laid off for a ball. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything. So he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Fouled off. On, On he 
can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. People always talk about how important getting the leadoff men on base is, and, and it's true. So in the eighth inning of a one-run game, that's a really nice job of attacking a hitter and sending him packing. Stepping in now, Michael Brantley, and he pops him up, drifting toward the left side of the infield. And this is taken in for the second out. The third base. And that'll bring up the former first rounder Alex Bregman. He's working on a one for two game so far. A one one is looked at for ball number two. Even count two balls and two strikes. Now a fastball runs inside and drills him. Oh, that's got to hurt. You know, with two outs and nobody on, that's the last thing you want to do on the mound. That really gives the opposition some hope that they can do something with this inning. Jose Altuve will stand in again as we flash you back to earlier. He's accounted for their only runs of the ball game on one swing of the bat as this was the swing right here. Two out with the man at first. Hit high in the air down the right field line. And that is down as that could be two bases. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. Wow, he must be living right because he gets absolutely jammed. Thought we were going to see the bat splintered, but instead he muscles the ball to right for a double. Might get some heckles from his teammates, but no doubt he'll take it. Joaquin Soria comes on now looking for the final out of the inning to strand the two runners in scoring position. Number 48, Joaquin. Now the Astros designated hitter Jordan Alvarez not much in the way of productivity from him so far but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot. Yeah it's time now that he has to put the rest of those bats behind it because none of that matters if he can clutch up when it really counts. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. Now a curveball knocked down at home plate. The runners will hold tight, but it's a full count now, three and two. Here's the payoff pitch, and he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Oh, that's a walk that could really change the complexion of the game. With the bases loaded, if he gives up a base hit right here, it could get real ugly. Striding in for Houston, Carlos Correa. Lifetime numbers against Soria. He's a 333 hitter. Pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. In his career, Correa is carrying around a sparkling slugging percentage up over 500. Obviously, a huge threat every time he grabs a bat. Now, a ball hit in the air, and this looks like it'll get him out of it. Scotty is there as he makes the catch and they'll tightrope out of danger as he strands the bases loaded. Astros leave them loaded. They lead it two to one. Leading off the inning, Ramon Laureano, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. The Astros leading by the slimmest of margins late in this one and trying to hang on and earn the series sweep. 
one of the keys if you want to sweep the game is you're going to have to get some big outs in that seventh, eighth, and ninth inning. They're leading by a run as we're going towards the end of this game. Now it's time for the pitching staff to put this one under wraps. And more importantly than earning the sweep, these guys have their sights set on winning the division. They're in first place as we speak, so closing out every win down the stretch is going to be huge. They might even change their nickname for this team to the Road Warriors. A sweep is looking pretty good as they're leading this one again late in the ballgame. Boy, talk about hitting into some rough luck. That was an absolute bullet to the outfield that gets caught, and he would have represented a tying run. Into the box now, Tony Kemp 0 for 2 for him to this point. One out, nobody on. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Reddick has a read on it. Two down. Ryan Presley enters here looking to get the final out before the ninth inning. Digging in, Marcus Semyon. He singled his last time up. Now the one and one pick he is in there for the second strike. Look at the radar gun on that slider. Off speed pitch, 91 miles an hour. That's just pure filth. The one two is taken for ball two. Here now the two two. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Drill down the line. Bregman has it. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. A's are gone in order. They're down 2 1. Yasmera Petit enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Ready for another chance. George Springer. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Now the 2 1 pitch. Call didn't go his way on 2 and 1, but it's important here on 3 and 1 to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. Late swing, but he's still able to get a lot of this one out toward deep right field. And this will need to be corralled out near the 367 sign now. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. That was a great job of driving that ball, extending his arms very well, was able to get it over the right fielder's head. One hopping it off the wall for an easy double. That's one of those solid hits that you don't even feel coming off the bat. Standing in now, Josh Reddick. Skied into straightaway right. Piscotti's there for it. He makes the catch, and tagging is the runner from second. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. The first base, number 10. So here's Yuli Gurriel, although there are a couple of bases open, and we'll see if they think about working around him. Go, go, go. 
And it looks as though they're going to set up the double play. There's the free pass signal. So there'll be runners at the corners with one gone. Now yeah, the guy's been on fire lately, hitting anything close. So I think this is the way to go here. Get the bat out of his hands any way that you can. Lou Trevino enters the game with one gone in the top of inning number nine. Martin Maldonado will be the first to greet him here as he'll do so with runners at the corners and only one out. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Chopper foul. Two and two count to the Astros catcher. That fastball really got away from him there. That's kind of a red flag for me that he's starting to tire or wear down a little bit. The first thing that goes is location and then your mechanics. We'll see if this continues. The 2 2 hit in the air down the left field line. And they can't run it down. Bullet back up the middle. Catch will be made here. Tagging is the runner from third. And the run is in to score from third. Every team is looking for that insurance run late in the game. That run right there gives them a two-run lead heading into the late innings. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And that brings in the left-handed hitting outfielder, Michael Brantley. A runner on first with two away. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. Guriel blows through the stop sign headed for home as they push their lead to three now. Hey Dero that's a big RBI right there to stretch this lead to three takes a lot of pressure off your pitcher going into the bottom part of the inning. Yeah Dan no doubt as an offense all you're trying to do is put your pitchers in positions to be successful giving them that three run cushion has to make you feel good. So now to the plate, Alex Bregman. And that's ball three now as it just misses below the zone. Jose Altuve would be next. The 3 1. Squared that one up just a little late. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. 3-2 pick. Now a swing by Bregman and a ball hit well to deep left. Into the concrete staircases and gone. It's a two-run homer for Alex Bregman. Home run number 37 on the year and it's now a 6-1 to one ball game. No surprise with that swing of the bat. This guy is simply one of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that in the league. Jake Diekman takes over now with two gone here in the top of inning number nine. Number 35. Jake Diekman. Into the box, Jose Altuve hit in the air to right field. In there, a base hit. He takes the turn and heads for second. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. And he is in the second base with a double. His third hit this afternoon. 
You'd think they'd stop pitching this guy by now. He's been torching them all weekend, and he stays hot here with another extra base hit. They'll be happy when this series is over, so they don't have to deal with this dude anymore. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Jordan Alvarez. 0 for 3 to this point. Yeah, not his game so far. He's such a good hitter. We all kind of expect him to pick up two or three hits most of the time. That's not really how baseball works, though. Sinker misses that time, and it's 2 and 1. the stretch to two and two now <laughs> runs here in this half inning three and two now just missed with that heater but even if he wanted to swing I don't think he could have caught up to that one Three and two pitch. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. So that's the second walk he's worked in this one. Yeah, and that seems to be a popular approach when this guy steps in. He can really hurt you with one swing. So I think the idea is mostly not to let this one guy beat you, Matt. So coming to the plate, Carlos Correa. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. him up Kemp is there and he puts it away to stop the bleeding nine men come to the plate four score on to the bottom of inning number nine four five and six coming up it's the Astros six and the A's one all set for the bottom of the ninth and that brings in the big power hitting first baseman Matt Olson. Rounded to the right. Altuve has it. And the throw to first is in time. One gun. Now back, the deputy so now it's Mark Hanna. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Bases are empty. One man out. And that is swung on and missed and things are starting to look bleak here for the home nine. There are two away now. Well we'll see a lot of these power now arms Maddie. coming out of the Third bullpen baseman. in these days. But it doesn't make it any less impressive Shot to me. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. Last strike now for Oakland. Neither guy willing to give in and the ad battle continue. As mentioned early in the broadcast this series finale had the potential to result in a series sweep and at this point in the game it's looking rather promising. Hey Matty V Yogi Berra had a great saying it ain't over till it's over. Well this one's just about over with the team playing as well as they are and leading by as much as they are. This one is pretty much in the books. Two out nobody on. Hangs a K to end it, and the Astros sweep the series and continue to set the pace in the division. You can just see that the confidence is radiating off of them out there right now. That's six wins in a row, and this looks like a train that's not about to slow down anytime soon. Six to one, the final tally today. Houston wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Justin Verlander hangs win number 11 on his line. Jesus Lozardo pitched well, allowing only two earned, but ends up taking the loss. Ryan Presley records four outs on his way to the save, his sixth. 
So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Fans are final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Astros, six runs, eight hits, no error. They left eight men on base. For the